Are you struggling to turn around parts for your customers? Are you doing three or four different setups on mills and lathes just to do end face work and slightly little complicated tapped holes? This machine could do it all and more. Find out how and keep watching this video. Keith, it's funny because before today, I've never looked in depth at any of these kind of semi-automatic CNC lathe machines, but behind me, you've got a, a lovely looking Colchester standard design uh, lathe that we all know and love, but it's got a fanatic control right in front of it. So can you explain for our viewers that don't know, what is this kind of machine and how does it work? So it, we take one of our standard conventional machines and we turn it into an alpha. Remove lead screws, replace them with ball screws. Uh, in this case, a FANUC control, FANUC drive, FANUC motors, and turn it into a combination lathe. You can use it manually, and you can use it full CNC, and, and various options between that. Okay, and the various options being, you can have a standard two-axis uh, system, but this is a three-axis. So what is that third axis, and what can it do? Yeah, so the two-axis comes with a standard quick-change tool post. We then remove that, and we replace it with an auto-indexing turret, uh, and that can still be just a two-axis one, but in this case, we put driven tools on that as well. With a C-axis, it turns it into a three-axis lathe. Which is I've never seen a three-axis lathe when in this kind of configuration with the standard kind of ro the robust Colchester two-axis manual winding the handles design. But why do, what does that extra third axis allow you to make? To me, it gives you your first form of automation. You don't have to take the job off to do any milling operations. You can do drilling and milling, both axial and radial. Uh, without removing the part. You get all sorts of benefits in terms of accuracy, less work in progress, it's not on and off the machine, you're not using other machines to do it, you get a completed part come off. Right, okay, because some people I guess would be doing, using a manual, manual lathe, they'd turn down or even just rough the part, but those parts have got holes on the end face or on the diameter, or even could you do different like hex head features and, and uh, loads of different kinds of features like those? Yeah, polygon turning, you can do hexagon squares, triangles, you can do uh, PCDs, you can uh, do scallops in it, you can do uh, helical interpolation, you know, it's endless. It's a, like a full CNC. Okay, because it's like a full CNC then, you can achieve the same kind of accuracy as you'd expect from a skilled operator on a standard Colchester or from a CNC machine? 100%, yeah. You, you know, it's, it's based on our tool room grade machine. So this particular one, the 1550, is based on a Mastiff. Um, we do do uh, smaller and larger machines as well, uh, and with driven tools. Okay, so why would someone choose to buy one of these? If Let's say they've already got a few CNC's and some manuals. Why, why would this sit well on the shop, their shop floor? I think because you can use it manually as well, uh, it gives you that uh, extra capacity. It gives you the ability to do the smaller batch work, and you can run them alongside other machines as well. And for, for I think we all know that the, uh, finding good skilled operators is quite difficult right now. How easy is it for a skilled manual operator to learn to use one of these machines? Well, we provide full training courses as well. I mean, on a two axis machine, two days is normally enough if you've got some FANUC experience or some CNC experience. Um, but on a driven tool one, it's probably three days that you're gonna need. But yeah, it's very simple. MGI, the same as you have on the, the two axis machines. The manual guide eye. Manual guide eye full CNC and the alpha side of things. Okay, so three days um, you might take to learn the C-axis as well, but it's three days that are well invested because you don't have to take the job off, go and wait for a mill to be free to go and set it up on the mill, then come and set it up back with all the stack up of tolerances and, and the problems associated yeah. with that. And the main thing is reduce lead times. You, you're gonna satisfy your customer a lot quicker. So we're looking at this beautiful new showroom machine here, but can, can someone take this home? Absolutely, it's available from stock. We've got this machine, we've got one without the driven tools as well, and we've got smaller machines uh, alongside that. So yeah, available, all the machines available from stock.